No, no, this is not part of the show. It. Listen to me, everybody. We need to evacuate the area. <laughs> the mountain activity center is on fire, and my show is in ruins. The Mountain Activity Center is on fire, and Station Officer Steele's show is in ruins. Stand clear, everyone. Move away from the fire. Over here, Cridlington! It won't reach, sir! The hose is too short! Right, there's only one thing for it. We'll have to do it like the old days. Everyone, find a bucket! We need to make a line from the lake! Okay, T. We need to make sure the area is clear. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Tom, we've got a fire at the Mountain Activity Center. We need Wallaby 2. Roger that, Sam. Just like we did in the show. Pass, 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 pass,
James. We're going to get you off of there. Now, try and edge your way over towards me. I can't, Uncle Sam. I'm attached to the pumpkin by a harness. It's never easy in Ponty Pandy. We're going to have to be quick, Sam. We're heading for the cliffs. Oh, did she say cliffs? Just keep your eyes on me, James. Sam, the wind's blowing the door shut. Hang on! Where's she going? Don't worry, James. She'll be back. We're going to go over the cliff! No, we're not, James. Someone order a rescue! Uh, why is she going backwards? So the wind keeps the door open, James. Oh. Hang on tight! <laughs> To find them. Come on, Lizzie. Boo! Boo! Ah! <laughs> the foot and hoof prints go this way, and from the look of it, I'd say Mandy and the horse skidded in this direction all the way over to. Here. There they are. <gasps> I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah! Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope past the crossroads on the Ponty Pandy Hills. Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope past the crossroads on the Ponty Pandy Hills. We're about to head onto unsteady ground. Mandy, are you hurt? Sam's ready. The stretch is ready. Then let's go. Ooh. How's the horse? He was very scared, but I patted him and told him not to worry. Ah, oh, well done, Mandy. The horse is very calm. Now, let's give him a check. Okay, Mandy. To get you up, just to be safe, I need you to lie on a stretcher. Lie flat for me. The horse is fine. We're ready for Phoenix's crane. Oh! The noise is scaring the horse. Old Phoenix. There, there. Sam, I'm going to keep the horse calm as you strap him into the sling. But do it slowly, OK? That's it. Stay nice and calm. And he's out. Thanks, Lizzie. Oh, he was about to say who it was! No one is watching the end of the movie until that cat is back in its basket. Fine. I'll get it. Anything to find out who did it! Oh. Careful, Norman. Uh, uh, oh. uh, get your stinky tail off me! Really getting on my nerves. Norman, are you okay? I'm fine. Now, where's the cat gone now? Wait, Norman, don't scare it. I can't catch the cat. I think we have bigger problems. I'll get my dad. Knocked. Ah! We're trapped! Rick, do something! I'm calling Simon Sam! Uh, 
Sam, I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the floods house. Please stay calm. Mandy, Hannah, and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the Bloods' house. Mandy, Hannah, and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman, Mandy, Hannah! I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone! <laughs> Take my hand! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! OK, Norman, I'll find it. Still, whilst we open the doors. Ready, Elvis? One, two, three. Now, we're going to lean inside the car and attach you to a harness. Ready? That's it. Steady now. All clear. Pull us up now. Where's the phone? 
Oh, we buried it. Ah! I'm not going out there. Uh, I need to signal for help. Um, uh, ooh, a flare. Uh, perfect. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I just had a terrible dream that Norman Price threw a flare into the laundry basket and set fire to me house. It wasn't a dream, was it? Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Elvis and Ellie, you fight the fire from outside. Penny and I will rescue anyone inside. Right, Tom. Oh, the door's blocked. Stand back. Mandy! Oh. Calm down, Norman. It's just me. That sounds like Mandy. You take Norman and Mike out, Penny. I'm going up. And stay back from the door. I'm coming in. Oh. You're safe now, Mandy. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman, Mandy, James and Sarah are heading out to sea at full throttle on Neptune looking for alien insects. Norman, Mandy, James and Sarah are heading out to sea at full throttle on Neptune, looking for alien insects. Oh, I miss the days when we used to rescue cats from trees. First rule of search and rescue. The higher up you go, the further, further you, you can, can see. see. Take her up, Tom. I see them. They're near the lighthouse. James is in trouble. We need to get there fast. Sarah, you three, hang on. Take us up, Tom. You all 
right, Penny. All fine here, Sam. I'll bring the other three back to the key. shovel and try to get up telly again. Penny. We need to hurry, Sam. It's filling up fast. What about Phoenix? Phoenix would be strong enough, but we'll never get her up here in time. Hmm. There is one other thing that might be strong enough to lift up that submarine. Master 2000. I think it might be at the bottom of the lake, Joe. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And Tom's not due back with the proper CD for hours. Listen, you overpriced, oversized bucket of junk. Switch off now, and that's an order. Oh, I'm sorry, Norris. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, I'll show you. Uh, no, sir, I, I don't think that's a... Switch to pool party mode. <laughs> Ooh, tropical. has caused a wildfire in the mountains and it's spreading quickly. I think it's going to be one of those days. There, all out. Sparklers and dry grass? Not a good mix, Norman. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I was just trying to be extra magical. You know what would be really magical? If you stayed out of trouble for the rest of the day. The final scene will be danger-free, I promise. Well, let's hope so. And now, the big blue flagging scene! Take one! No, Norman. That zip wire is really high up. It's all part of my mega magical special effects. I want this movie to go viral, remember? I want so many hits, I break the internet. The only thing you'll break is your leg. I'll be OK. I am an ace director. Oh, I can't look. <laughs> I'm flying! <laughs> I'm dangling! Call Fireman Sam! Just make it stop. Master Wizard is 
dangling from a zip wire above the waterfall, hanging upside down by his foot. I should have seen that one coming, really. Shall we take the red carpet with us, Sam? No, Elvis. I think this carpet's royal days are over. Come on, James! The prince is waiting! Don't look down! Oh, no! I hate... Yep. We know, James. You hate rope bridges across ravines. But you're nearly here. Gotcha! Now it's just me to go. Let me show you lot how it's done. You show him, Big T. What's that sheep doing? What sheep? Um, looks like it's eating the rope. No, 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 no! Go away, sheep! You're not wanted here. Go and eat something else. Shoes. Come on, Tom. You're a wild man. Uh oh. <laughs> I've hurt my shoulder. I can't climb out. I think we better call Fireman Sam, eh? I can't see anything. Neither can I. I can with my Viewmaster 2000. What are they doing? Well, it doesn't look like they managed to find a toy for the little prince. Oh. But it does look like Dillis managed to sell them a jar of pickles from the discount aisle. Dillis will be pleased. She's been trying to use those up before they go out of date. Oh, they're coming out. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Roger that, sir. Um, but, sir, if Tom is stuck on a ledge, who's going to fly the rescue helicopter? I can fly a helicopter. Oh. tonight, Penny. They could be miles away by now. Let's try north, Ben. Sam's out there somewhere. Roger that, Penny. Help! 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 Hold on! I'm on my way! Look! That must be from Sam! Are we glad?
glad to see you, Sam. Is everyone okay? We're all fine, Sam. Just a bit wet. Right, help us here. Let's get you all out of the water. You all must know that you should never go out on a boat without telling anyone where you're going. I mean, you didn't even have any life jackets or flares. We're really sorry, Sam. Well, it's a good job Norman and Hannah were looking for you, or no one would have known you were missing. Oh, we're very sorry our little society caused such distress, Fireman Sam. Did you hear that? They admitted it! They are a secret society! They were trying to lure the moon men to Pontypandy, and we, the Wi-Fi Owls, thwarted their plan! Oh, oh, no, no, no. We don't lure moon men. They're a stargazing society. Oh, I see. But how did you know that, Hannah? I, I mean... Agent Sparks? I'm a wi files investigator, remember? Actually, I just looked at their laptop. So why were you so secretive? We've discovered a new star, and we're going to be the ones to name it. That's what I thought. Unfortunately, according to the Star Watcher website, the star you were trying to look at was discovered last month. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's another Wi Files case closed. Uh, Fireman Sam, would you like to join our Wi Files team? Eh? Uh, no, no. Uh, thank you, Norman. I think I'll just leave that to you two experts. 